Hey guys, Dave here from Iographer. I am so excited to be here in Hawaii today. I needed such a break. Uh, it's just been a wonderful vacation for myself and my family. I want to thank you all for being such great, great Iographer users. We had a wonderful 2018. We're looking so forward to 2019 with some new products coming out and just new fun stuff. And <laughs> uh, my wife's here, of course, Lauren, and we're having a great time in Hawaii. <laughs> We are in Hawaii, honey. I'm telling the people this is a video for this is a video for our users, honey. Oh. Uh, <laughs> okay. All right, fine. We're not in Hawaii. We're in our living room in San Gabriel. We're using the Iographer green screen. Let me tell you how to use it and what it's all about on Iographer TV. So it's a really simple setup to do some fun green screen at your home or in your office or wherever. You just need to get a couple of lights. Um, well, I've got two ring lights that are bringing lots of light on this. You want to get some light on the green screen as well so it lights it up and not just you otherwise you'll get some shadows. I've got the 10.5 iographer here. Um, we're, we don't even need a lens or anything because we're nice and tight. Um, of course if you went back further and you're really far away you might want a lens. but. Um, simple tripod, we're set up, I'm filming. Um, over here, um, we're going to set up the green screen. So the green screen is super easy to set up. Here's this little handle on top, if you can see that. And all I do is press down, and it's literally effortless. And it's in the can. Next thing you just need to do is turn this down. It's ready to be packed up and walk away. Now when you're ready to set it up, you bring it up like this, you open it. And then just a couple fingers, very simple, and it goes up. And maybe if you're shorter and you don't need this much, you can you can leave it to that point or whatever. It's totally uh, uh, customizable. I mean, it's fantastic. Um, you really don't need um, to be too wide either, because you know you're going to cut all this stuff out in post production. Uh, but just make sure that when you're shooting, you're not going like this and going out of frame. Otherwise, that's going to be a problem later. Um, let's go now into some nonlinear editors and show you how to make you in Hawaii like I was. Okay, let's go. Okay, so we are going to go into Premiere Pro, which is right here. This is when you open the screen, this is the first thing that you'll see. But you could also do this in Final Cut Pro, you could do this in Hit Film. Um, I think Wii Video has a key here as well. So let me know if you guys need um, more tutorials on how to do keen in those programs, and I'll put something together. Um, so in Premiere Pro, we're going to go in, and why I'm going in Premiere Pro is I love using Premiere Pro for any green screen stuff because it does a great job. So we're going to do new project, and I'm going to call this one um, Green Screen 2 because I have Green Screen 1 already. <laughs> and um, we're going to open it up, a new project down here, and we're going to import some media. And then uh, I'm going to go into my footage folder here. Um, I'm going to go into green screen and I shot this with the iPad Pro. So I'm just going to, um, we'll just take one of these in. So I've got my green screen footage here. And then I'm going to want to import um, my background. So I'm going to right click and I'm going to do import. And then I'm going to go down to my downloads. And here is the Waikiki Beach. And so that's there. Um, let me bring in something else too. Um, just to show you, you can do other things. Um, and I got all this footage at pond5.com. And they have some great stuff in there with reasonable prices. And you can download samples and clips and stuff like that. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take this piece of footage, I'm going to drag it over here, and it's going to create a new, um, a new uh, sequence for me. And I don't know why, I'm, um, I shot this in Filmic Pro, I think the last thing I did was a football game, so I'm going to change the name of the sequence to uh, GS01, and that's my green screen. So I deleted it from the timeline because now I want to go up into the footage up here where I've double-clicked, 
and I can now crop it to where I want. So I'm going to take a, whoops, I'm sorry. I'm going to take a little bit of it, and I think this is where I started. And uh, there, I, I'm about to say something, I know that. Hey guys. There we go. And then we're going to just scroll down a little bit. Before my wife came and interrupted me. So I'll just stop around right here. I'll stop right here. So I'm going to press O for out. So I've got an in and out point. Now I'm going to drag this down there. And I've got my footage. I am actually made a mistake and I'm going to show you what I did wrong. I need this to be on video track two, V2. So I'm going to drag this up one channel. I'll drag this down one channel. So they're both on V2 and A2. Because this has to be on top of the footage I got. So this was shot in 4K. Uh, but the footage that they had available was 1080, so we're going to drag that in here. And now you see that it's under there, and it's hidden back here because this is not keyed out or anything yet. So now we're going to select that layer, and we're going to um, scroll over. Actually, we're going to go to the effects controls here, and under opacity right here, I'm going to drag, I'm going to get this free draw Bezier tool. And then what I like to do in, in Premiere here is go to 25%. Uh, so I have some real estate to play around with. And I'm going to draw a little box with the Bezier tool around here. And I'm going to connect it. And now I've masked out everything around it. I've just got my green screen here. We're going to go back to fit and you'll see that. So that is looking good so far. Now let me go underneath here to this footage. And I'll go to scale and we'll scale this up. And there is our footage uh, behind us. And now we just have to key this out. So now I'm going to scroll over here uh, to the right and I'll see effects. And um, I'm going to look for video effects. I'm going to scroll down till I get to Keen. And Premiere Pro has an awesome tool called the Ultra Key. I'm going to drag that on to my, my layer and just move over a tiny bit. And now here is my ultra key right here. I'm going to grab this little icon here for key color. And I'm going to go and find the darkest part that I can find. And now this is where the fun begins. I'm going to um, go into my alpha channel. So. The key here, haha, no pun intended, is to make all of this black and all of this white. Well, it seems like the white's looking good, but we need the other part to be all black. So that's really transparent. So I'm going to go into these two things here, matte generation and matte cleanup to play around with those. And what you do is just kind of drag things left and right until you can see. So if I go too far this way, it looks really funky. So that's about as far as I can get, maybe 40 with um, my transparencies and then um, we come down here to the pedestal and start dragging it to the right you can see we're getting rid of a lot of it and keeping most of the stuff there now let's go back to our composite view and you see that's given me a pretty darn good key and um, let's let's uh, let's mute the um, beach for a second I need it's such a break uh, it's just been a wonderful vacation so that looks pretty good to me I mean um, the key is totally uh, right on spot on that's why I love premiere and and the ultra keyer it just really keys things out great the other tools I'm not going to mention their names but they take a lot more work in my opinion and this as you can see at the beginning was not the best green screen in the world um, in fact, let's see, let's turn off um, Ultra Key for a second. But you can see over here, I've got a shadow here and shadows there. And, and you know, it's just not evenly lit. Um, and still, we've got a pretty darn good key. So um, now what I might want to do and, and see how it stops right there. I've run out of room. So I'm going to have to go back to, um, to my footage and drag... Um, some more of the Waikiki stuff. I could also go Command C and then go Command V over here and just do something like that if I want. And then just drag this over. So now we've got everything the same way. 
Now, what I don't like about this is that the sh it's so sharp in the background. So I want to go back into um, into my effects folder and grab some blur. So I'm going to go in here and take some uh, Gaussian blur. And I'm going to drag that onto the Waikiki beach layer. And then we're going to go up here and I'm going to blur it about, uh, let's go to 10. And let's see what that does. Uh, oops, I'm in the wrong clip. Yeah, you can see I blurred it a little bit. Otherwise, why is everything just so sharp? You know, you don't need it to be that sharp. Um, and I got to make sure that I go down here to the last part where it's still sharp. And then I will um, add the Gaussian blur again. And, um, and then we're going to go here again to 10. So now it all looks nice and sharp for me. So now um, I'm going to um, add an adjustment layer. So I'm going to go down here. Oops, I'm in the wrong place. Let's go back to my green screen project. Click here, and then I want to make an adjustment layer. And we'll leave it like that. And we'll bring this on top. And I'm going to stretch it across. And now I can bring in some color correcting to um, make it just look for the whole project as a whole and have some good color there. So we'll go back into video effects and then we'll look for just basic color correction. Um, and then we'll do, let's see, what do we do here? Um, we'll choose Lumetri Color. Click on that and then we're going to um, go into Lumetri Color here and we'll start doing some basic corrections. And, um, you know, we can white balance stuff, etc. Um, and do some fun stuff. So we'll just auto it maybe a little bit. Change some saturations. Just a tiny bit. You know, we can even jump into the color panel here. <clears throat> and look for some uh, different looks that they have already. So here's looks right here. So that's uh, their different types of, of film. Um, let's see, is there anything warm here? We can play around with this all you like. Um, just so you can kind of match things up. But they've got some great um, options here. Of course, you can choose none and you can start playing with uh, the different colors yourself. And here's the curves as well. So you can really get into it. And I don't really want to make this into a color correcting tutorial because <laughs> I'm not the greatest at that. But you can really, uh, I mean, this is where we started on the left and look at where we are now in Hawaii. So lots of fun that you can do with this. Um, let's go back to editing for one second because I wanted to show you that you can do some other fun stuff um, with this. So we're going to, I'm going to drag, uh, let's see, where's my, here's my footage that we have all keyed. So we're going to go through it again. I'll press V here, we'll drag it up a layer and down a layer. And then, um, like, here's an office that I found. And we will go back here. And I'll click the office. It's just a small clip. But, you know, you can, you can show yourself anywhere that you want to using this type of stuff. You know, um, it's a lot of fun to use. Um, a lot of students use this for, uh, in my son's school, um, he's in fifth grade, they use it to tell stories about, you know, instead of just doing a book report, they might have behind them, um, you know, Abraham Lincoln and some video footage of, well, there's not video footage of Abraham Lincoln, but, um, you know, just maybe a photo of him or whatever. And then they're talking about the different things. So the green screen stuff really is fantastic. It's a lot of fun to do. You can be exceptionally creative. Um, you can put fires burning behind you. I mean, you can do tons of fun stuff with it. So I hope this helped you and got you inspired to do some green screen stuff. Um, it's amazing to do. Our green screen kit uh, is on sale at iographer.com. Uh, the green screen alone is $159 and then we have bundles. Uh, but it's a lot of fun to use and I can't wait to see what you do with it. Great iographer green screen. Check it out now on our website at iographer.com. I'm Dave Basilto. Please subscribe to our channel and give us some comments below. Take care.